a chap from Denmark called Daniel, nice guy, asked me about Defender doors. Now, my container at the moment with the doors in are actually frozen solid. So I can't get the old doors out. So I, but I wanted to reply this just to be polite and just do a quick de description of why Land Rover doors rust out. And I thought, oh, I've got, I've got the old whiteboard here. I'll, I'll use this. So here we go. So this is your Land Rover door skin. All right? You're looking from this side. This is the outside looking this way. On the inside of the door frame, and this particular piece is the top just below the window. And it's very important, this bit, because there's a lot of structure in this. And um, I'm not talking about door bottoms, but if you see the door bottom rusted and this bit, and we'll go outside in a minute and I'll show you exactly what I mean. If this bit's rusted out, I'm afraid the door is just about toast. So what we got, oh, that's what I'm wait a minute, here, let's use this one. What we've got in, on the inside of the door is a frame and it's a steel pressing and it's like this. Right, so there you go. This in itself is hollow, but I'll just put some lines on just to make sure you can see the difference, all right? What they do to bond this together, they use a mastic sealer here and here and I'll go out in a minute even though it's freezing cold and I'll show you what happens is this oh, we'll use some green no, we'll use green for corrosion what happens is up here is your window now how can we draw that we'll draw it just like a, a little window and there's a rubber door seal you know there's a rubber seal and there's your inside, there's a little seal on the inside which is square. So water can come down here through your window and eventually get into this chamber. What happens next is really interesting. The corrosion will start through electrolytic um, thingbajig. I don't know what the name is, but this is aluminium. This is steel, this is water. If you get the situation where you've got a salty environment, this is even worse. It's like cancer for a car. So what happens is, over time, you will see a little blister like this. You'll see little blisters all over the top. And I'll, I'll go, like I say, I'll go outside and show you. You get little blisters. What, this is on the outside. The common repair is to simply knock them in, you know, dent them in with a hammer and then fill them up with body filler, put some paint on and everything's cool. The problem with that is body filler should only be used for dents. It should never, ever be used to fill holes in. Why? Body filler is a mix of resin and powder. I think it was talcum powder actually. So what happens is that water coming down here will get through here and swell this up. But this is the amazing part, what you don't see. And I've seen it many, many times and this is why I don't repair doors anymore. Behind that door skin, there is an opening like this. Behind that little blister all this, all this, all this is corrosion. This is very similar to a, a bullet entry. You know, you get it, when you shoot somebody with a bullet, you get a very small... Americans are like this. When you shoot somebody, um, you'll get a very small entry hole, but a very large exit hole. This is in reverse. The water's coming down here, and it's corroded all the back of that panel. It's really dis discouraging and, it's, and it could have been fixed so easily and I'm going to show you how to fix it. But not this panel. This is toast now. This is finished. No matter what you do, you will never get it right. Believe me. You could cut this panel out and TIG weld another one in. But not a lot of people have got that ability. If you're going to fill it up, use a product like um, 
uh, Metalox or an aluminium based um, body filler which is very good because the aluminium doesn't uh, react with, with the water anymore it's, it's not like the powder stuff so the body filler then has a chance but it's still not fixed it, un until you take the door skin off and get rid of all that corrosion at the back through sandblasting mm -hmm. not advisable because <laughs> it's aluminium so it's going to warp and stretch or chemical actions, acids and bits and pieces. I don't know. The thing is, how long do you live? For me, to do a door skin was uh, uh, one of the ways, one of the solutions. You know, put a new door skin on. There's two type, different types of door skins. There's an aluminium skin and there's a, a galvanised uh, steel skin that was fitted to the Pumas. They're both compatible with each other. For me... Time after time, the galvanised steel. No, I don't. I wouldn't even go down that road of using the um, uh, aluminium skins because they are pure aluminium. They are not berma bright like the like your original Land Rover panel. What does that mean? Well, simply, it dents like crazy. It just as soon as you look at it, it's dented. It's like a car crash as soon as you put it on. It it looks nice. Um, but it's difficult to work and what happens is you'll get people pushing the door instead of the handle I'll describe that outside and they'll dent the panel so let's go outside and I'll show you what I'm talking about so here we are outside this is my personal pickup I've not used it for a long time I don't use it much in winter but anyway I want to describe about the area I was just talking about on the whiteboard where things corrode if you've got corrosion here which is quite common, anywhere across the top of here and at the bottom of the door sadly it's toast. The, the door skins are quite expensive but what you'll find is behind here it will be all rusted out, not only the, the aluminium panel but the steel as well and this actually holds in the steel framework holds in your window winder mechanism now that's, uh, you can see this is an electric door because I, <laughs> I can open the window from the other side without leaning over. But this is a TD5 door, all right? So I'm going to show you also the difference between the doors. So if you've got corrosion at the bottom of the door, it is fixable, but once it's up here, honestly, when that frame goes, when you take these door skins off, you will be amazed. You will be amazed what's behind here in rust. So... Let me first of all give you a tour of doors. This is a TD5 door. It was made up of a lot of different panels and welded up and uh, it was brazed, it was all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of problems inside here. Um, and there are sort of accidents waiting to happen as regard rust. They do the same thing, they look exactly the same. But this is how you tell the difference. You see these top corners at a glance, you can see this is an aluminium skin with a steel frame. Let's go around the other side. Oh dear me, snowplow man's been <laughs> He didn't make a very good job. So let's go around the other side and open up the door on this side. Remember, put that wax on them buttons. This is a Puma door. And you can see the skin, this piece of the steel work, the door frame, is completely rounded. Very nice. But it's got a galvanised steel frame. I mean satin galvanised, not hot dip galvanised but it does the job. And then somebody's put this skin on afterwards because you can see it looks like a mess. But what they've done is they've, they've crimped another skin on. This is why I got this door pretty cheap. But it does exactly the same. All the fittings are the same except for this bit. When you put your door cards on you'll find that this is rounder and the other one over there was square. And the same here, look, you see, it doesn't quite fit. The, the doors, you could use body filler and fill that in and paint it if you wish. Same as that side, but hey, it's a pickup. <laughs> I'm not bothered. But that's the difference. And these doors are fantastic. These don't rust at all. They're a strong-ish, you know, you, <laughs> never, <laughs> you wouldn't get away with a side impact with a Land Rover door, but they're, they're as strong as they're going to get. So I recommend this type of door. Because sometimes it's very false economy. And I've said to on, on, on YouTube, 
that sometimes the cost of replacing the door skin, repairing the frame, painting and making it last a long time is very difficult. So first, now let's go back to the other side because I actually cleaned off the door on the other side. Gee, there's things I do for you guys. Here we go. How do you prevent the doors rust, rutting, rust, rusting, I can't even spit it out. How do you prevent the doors rusting out at the bottom? It's quite simple. Water comes down the door, down the window, down here, and it hits this channel. Now if you look at this channel in the cross section, it's actually like a little gutter. You see? It's like a little gutter. And water comes down here and gets down into here. Now, I, I'm the worst sort of mechanic on my own vehicles. I always do other people's. But this, believe me, is the key to stop your windows. Get some dum-dum. In this case, I haven't got any dum-dum, but I'll put a link to what it is and where you can get it from down below. This is, this is just simply um, um, plasticine. And it'll work exactly the same. Force plasticine into those gaps. Look, see into there, like that. You know, Dum Dum's a lot better because it's black. But if you force plasticine into there and then you clean it off and make a nice neat job of it, because again, I, I, I reiterate, Dum Dum is black, but it'll do the same job. Now, water can come down this here, can't get down here, and comes down the side of the door. Same at the front, exactly the same as the front. Get some putty or whatever you want into there and it will be nice and watertight. Like I said, the nice thing about Dum Dum is you can, it's black and you can paint it. So, how did I find that out? Well, it's kind of an interesting but funny story. I was doing some electrical work on a Defender once and um, I got trapped in the car because there was a horrendous thunderstorm. It absolutely flooded out and I was inside the car. All the insides were out of the, you know, there was no interior. So I was forced to sit in the car for about 20 minutes because I wasn't going to get wet. And I watched the water pouring down these gaps here inside the bottom of the door. That wasn't good. And I sort of, since then I just plug up all these corners with a little bit of putty or dum-dum. And I've never had a door rot out yet. Never. So there you go. That's a really easy, cheap fix um water coming down here can't get can't it ju it just comes down here and through here and it's so common one of the tools i wanted to show you is is this little tool here this is actually a door skinning tool believe it or not um i bought this because i had a oh, i had about 15 doors to doors put new door skins on so i bought this and what you do is you run it along the top of the door like this. Obviously, I, I, I don't use it all that much because I've pinched the, <laughs> I've pinched the air fittings off the bottom. So this is what you do. And this, this arm here goes backwards and forwards and you run this tool like that all the way along. And it is magic. You will get a finish like this. No problems at all. Sometimes around these corners, it's a bit, well, you have to do that by hand. But this, worth its weight in gold when you've got a lot of doors to do. Um, but again, you know, do you want do you want to really spend? Well, there's the Astro Pneumatic Tool Company. Um, do you really want to spend hundred and fifty dollars on something that you're never going to use much? Again, that's the problem of being a mechanic. So there we go. That's that's a little bit about doors. Um, I might just go back inside a bit and do do, do a, a little chalkboard about why the door bottoms rust out. In fact, let's do it. It's hard to believe I've got a diploma for engineering drawing, but I can't draw for my life, so bear with me. So this is going to be a, a, a cross-section of the bottom of a Land Rover door. So we, this is the door skin, and it's coming round like this. It's crimped at the bottom. The frame is made up of several parts. It's made up of a, a flat section, and it's also got a U-channel that's spot welded here. It comes like this. 
it's got an outer piece that's bent round and comes down here. So it's, it's like three pieces. This is why Land Rover doors are expensive. It has a drain hole here. Now obviously when this is crimped together, that drain hole will be at this side here, if you see what I mean. What's the problem? Can't see a problem there, mate? Well, I'll show you what the problem is. Again, there's actually drain holes in here at the top. So, so the idea is that Land Rover put mastic here and here. So the water is supposed to come down from your window. If you can see that. It comes down from your window and it's supposed to go this way, right there. Out the bottom of the door. But it doesn't. It gets trapped in here. And the purpose of by putting mastic in the bottom of here. It keeps the water in. It's the most ludicrous idea you've ever seen. Again you've got now electrolytic uh, connections between the steel and the aluminium frame. Um, it's sad really. How to stop it? Well... What I try to do, if I've got a new door, is instead of putting the mastic here, I run around with a corking gun and I put a great big bead of mastic here. So if, if this is the extension of the, uh, the door, I don't want to destroy that drawing because it's very important. Um, if you've got the door skin coming up here, if you put mastic on here, then the water... God, I'm, running out of, I'm running out of pens now. Wait a minute. Hold on. Bear with me. It's interesting. The water then can come down here, hit that mastic at the top of the frame, and come down. And if you look at it along the side, uh, like a, the box section, how do, we, how do we do a box section? Yeah, you look. Do it like this, look. There's a box section. Um, yeah, that's sort of what it would look like, actually. It wouldn't be that bit there. It would be across there like that. If you've got your door skin, which is, you know, which would be fastened to that frame, and again, it's crimped round the bottom. Then, um, by putting a simple mastic bead on the top of here, will help tremendously. It also helps if you um, put a lot of anti corrosion in, anti corrosive stuff. I don't recommend wax oil. Now, that's going to sound really bizarre coming from a British sort of you know, wax oil is the best thing ever. It's actually rubbish because it hardens in Canada. It hardens to such a point it can crack, and then water can get behind it. So it's just like um, a lot of rust proofings. It has to be like a liquid stuff. And the inconvenient thing about the liquid rust proofing, or the very runny rust proof is that in summertime it can get warm and, and run out and it washes off if it's under the car. But believe me, it's worth its weight in gold. Um, so spray inside of that door, spray inside this cavity, um, spray around the bottom. You can't put enough rust proofing on, on a Land Rover, believe me. Uh, this is principally if you've got the aluminium door skins and the uh, steel frame. If you haven't, and if it's just a galvanised one like I showed you earlier, then you haven't really got a problem. Uh, you can still rust proof it, but pff, hey, why bother? So, there's a few little tips and tips for uh, Daniel, so you can understand now what I was saying about by putting a new door on. Because honestly, if, you're gonna, if you've got a door skin that you're going to put on, which is aluminium, um, it's it's tricky to do. It's 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 not impossible, but it's 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 difficult to repair. For me, to do a door from start to finish, bring it in, strip it down, uh, sandblast the frame, repair the frame, put a door skin on, seal it all up, paint it. It was about a day and a half. All right. For me, charging seventy dollars an hour, work it out, work out the economics of it. But the thing was, I could never guarantee that door. That was the problem. I could never really guarantee it more than six months. 
It seems strange. But because of the inherent problems of the, the, the design, I'm having to do something that's repair a 20-year-old door and give a sort of a lifetime warranty. Put it, so open the box, put, paint your door, put it on a galvanised door, rust-proof it, guarantee it for five, ten years. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It will be good. So that's a, that's a few little tips and tricks about doors. Um, in summertime, I'll do a better video of actually stripping a door so you can see what I'm doing. But, uh, but again, at the moment, it's midwinter. It's freezing cold outside. I can't get the doors open on the container, but I promise you I will do another video.